One of the most important things as a professional athlete or those who have made it is to go back to where they come from and assist those who are still trying uh, to do so. We spoke to Coach Peter Musiman a couple of days ago and he's doing exactly that. A coach who's successful in his own right all over the world uh, in the countries that he's traveled and he's coming back to South Africa to make sure that he assists the youngsters and another one well actually his prodigy one of his prodigies is uh, Spiwe Shabalala you'll remember him uh, fondly in the colors of Bafana Bafana as well as Kaiser Chiefs he joins me now in studio and he has uh, a tournament which is starting tomorrow the Spiwe Shabalala tournament organized by the Spiwe Shabalala Foundation and before we talk about that Shaba thank you so much for your time thank you for uh, coming through yeah. uh, we were talking of a one of our colleagues here our sound assistant Sipati, uh, very young was only born in 2000 mm. and that means <laughs> in 2010 she was 10. 10 yeah and the story is that you actually held her hand you know those those young kids that you whose hands you hold as you walk in yeah. uh, at the 2010 world cup the opening game our sound assistant, Sipati, you were the one holding her hand, walking into the FNB Stadium when you scored that <laughs> iconic goal. Yeah, no, she's, she's also part of the history. I mean, yes. I was, yeah, I was happy when she, she told me that, um, you know, she reminded me actually, she said, uh, do you know that you held my hand uh, when you walked on the field, um, you know, during the opening game of uh, 25 yeah. World Cups? So I was like, what? Oh, okay, then that makes you part of the history. But I'm happy. I mean, that's, that's what we do, to have an impact, yeah. to touch lives. So I'm happy that I met Sipati. And, yeah. and now my assignment is to make sure that I get here that picture. Yes, because yeah. she says she does not have a picture. And, and we're, try, we're trying to show you who Sipati is. She's with Michelle and Ayanda right now. There is Sipati. She's our sound assistant. She was with Spiwe Shabalala. That's, 23, that's uh, 13 years ago uh, now. My mathematics yeah. running away. 13 years 13. ago, F&B Stadium opening game. You were holding her hand as one of those uh, young uh, kids there that walk in with the uh, players. What a story that is. And that's exactly what you're trying to do with other youngsters in Piri Soweto, where you are from, to try and give them a moment in the limelight. And it starts now as they play where you used to play in the dusty streets of Piri. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, good morning to you and uh, to the viewers. Um, we're quite excited uh, for you know the eighth edition of, of uh, the Sipio Shabalala annual tournament. Uh, all set, ready to go, and yeah, it's a, it's a, it's always special to to go back, you know, where one started uh, playing, where one has so many you know great childhood memories, uh, playing in the dusty streets of Piri. And, uh, you know, to me, it's not only uh, helping the, the community of Piri. I mean, the tournament has, um, and the foundation, we've got a great footprint in, in South Africa. We'll be welcoming teams coming as far as uh, Free State. And uh, maybe now there's a team from Koko mm. You know, there's a team from Bethlehem. There's a team and from... And you played in that part of the world. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. But it also shows you, you know, the hunger of these youngsters, the desire to, to play, you know, with the hope that they'll be seen and, and you know, uh, play in better um, structured uh, development mm. teams. Mm. And I also saw on the lineup there's peer removers there, Shaba. I, I'm not too sure if that's your preferred team to win the tournament. You did play for <laughs> peer removers, but I'm not going to put you on that spot. <laughs> I'm not going to put you on that spot. Yeah. It's coming back from the, the COVID-19 break, how, how devastating was that for you as the organizers and not being able to do it? Because this is the eighth uh, edition, but it could yeah. easily have been the, the 10th, the 11th. Yeah, it would have been, you know, uh, it's a big year for us. We, we're celebrating uh, 10 years of, of uh, great work, 10 years of touching lives with the foundation because it was uh, established in 2013. Um, 
yeah, so we we happy with the work that you've done thus far, and obviously you can you can imagine when you love something and you're not able to to do it, you know, due to those um, unforeseen circumstances, yeah. and it's more mental, you know. But I'm I'm happy that we've uh, passed that stage. Now it's a yeah, it's a platform for these young ones to do what they love, to enjoy. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, I'm wishing them all the best. And I'm quite excited now that uh, the tournament will be bigger than before. Mm. You know, the games will be on, on Super Sport. Oh, uh, wow. Yes. They're going to be televised. Yes, on Channel 216. And they'll be um, able to stream the games on the Super Sport Schools app, yeah. um, which is something that is amazing. You That's know, big yeah, for, for, for the a township tournament, a tournament to be televised. Yes. Of course, and we're excited as well that we've got um, big sponsors. Future Life is on board as our nutrition partner. So before uh, any game and after a game, each and every participant will have uh, a proper meal uh, and they'll oh, be wow. well taken care of. You know, we've got Aspen as well who's been with us uh, over the years to make sure that, you know, we, we do our best in ensuring that uh, the tournament becomes a success. You know, we've got um, a new family, Petwe, as well, uh, that will be helping us as well to make sure that we, we're good. Everything is so, good. So that the prize money <laughs> is a little bit... Uh, improved from no there's there's no price money so with us is different there's no this prize is money. a development uh, program so we want these kids to be passion driven and uh, yes. not um, money driven so instead of us giving you five friends for winning the competition we'd rather give you product to the value of that amount uh, something that will equip you you know going forward so we'll be giving away brand new soccer boots, um, trophies, medals yeah. for individual uh, players that were outstanding. And then we've got mentorship programs, uh, like you're coaching the coaches. So we're not only giving the players an opportunity. We want to give young administrators yeah. an opportunity, uh, coaches, and those that who are studying want to do uh, their hours. We want them to come and be part of the program. So we're using the tournament as a as a vehicle as well to fight you know social ills yeah. I and mean, there's opportunity for for commentators takukasi that will be given an opportunity to do their thing Li you know, live there on live the with the hope that obviously at, at some point they'll do yeah. it professionally so we try to touch you know uh, many aspects with the hope that you know we'll achieve uh, objectives yeah how's the how's the talent pool looking like there because uh, there's, always, there's always concern over how many of the youngsters make it professionally, not that South Africa has a crisis of talent. Uh, we know that there's talent aplenty, but how, how is it and, and how do we make sure that it doesn't end here? We, we try and help these youngsters to move into the professional ranks. That's why we have these, these kind of tournaments, you know, to, to, to give them a platform and also to bridge the gap, uh, you know, between poor and rich to make sure that you present the same opportunities that you find, you know, in, uh, in the elite. And, and also, we, we don't want to uh, focus only on the talent. We want to help them as well to become good human beings, uh, you know, human beings that will also help their communities in, in, in their own way as well. So we invite scouts as well, like over the number of mm. years, Kaiser Chief is always there, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns is always there. Mm. So they just come and, and you know, they, they take these boys and they put them in, in, in well-structured um, environments. So we don't want it to, to end here. Yeah. My job is to make sure that I present the platform they ask is to make sure that they, they enjoy the opportunity, they perform. And the scouts is to take these boys, nurture their talent because mm. they're still raw, and make sure that it's protected. And hopefully, you know, in, in the near future, we want to export now. So it shouldn't yes. be a, a, a South African tournament. It should be 
a global tournament. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, one thing that, that, that's always fascinated me about uh, uh, township football or Kasi tournaments is that they're always so full, right? Yeah. They, they, the crowds are amazing. They, uh, we know, like, your tournament, we've seen the, the, the Maimani Piri tournament, we've seen, you know, the uh, uh, Guamashobo yes, games, yes. Uh, Phillies games, always packed. And that is credited to the kind of football that is being played there. And I want to know from you, Shaba, today, be honest. Is it true that you guys play better in the dusty streets and at the Kasi tournaments than when you, do, than, than when you turn pro? Once you turn pro, there's Pio Shabalala we, we saw play. For, for Chiefs, for Free State Stars, for uh, Amazulu, for Bafana Bafana, is not the one that played for Piri Arsenal, for Piri Movers. <laughs> yeah, I think at, at, at amateur level, um, there's um, a bit of, of, of um, inexperience and there's a bit of freedom as well. You, you express yourself, you, you do whatever you want to do. There's no tactical uh, aspect of the game. And then when you get to the elite, um, you know, things change. And no more dilly-dallying too much. I mean, uh, if you spend ah, three or four seconds, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, then this, they, they minimize the space. They take time and, and uh, <laughs> space away. So I'm of the view that uh, direct football, yeah. um, it, it's effective, but let's not use, let's not lose, you know, the flay in us. Let the flay help us, uh, you know, to benefit the team. But if you show boating at, at one place and not doing anything, it's pointless. You know, eliminate, show boat to create space for your teammates and then give us that final pass or give us that cross. Let's see the end product mm. other than just show boating just for fun. I mean, the fans will still be entertained. Yeah. If you eliminate, play direct good football, it's still entertainment that is very productive. All right. Shaba giving us spin there when it comes to Kasi <laughs> uh, football versus professional football. The fans have uh, lamented that it's uh, boring in the professional ranks. It's direct football. There's no uh, Tamaya, Shibobo, and all of that. But he's actually right. You're right, though. Uh, let's make it progressive. Let's exactly. teach the youngsters the right things uh, so that uh, we can have and be able to compete, be able at, the to compete level, yeah. at the highest level with uh, the, high, the other nations, big True. footballing nations. Thank you uh, so much for your time, Shaba, this morning. Uh, we are watching the tournament. Thank goodness it will be on TV and some of us will be at the club. Thank you no. uh, for your time this morning on the AM Report.